So this is how I do my Anderson plug terminals to wire connection. There's the Anderson terminals, there's the plug it goes into. I've tried various crimping techniques and I've gone back to soldering. So what we have to do is prepare some little pieces of solder to drop into the little cup of the terminal. Heat that up with a gas torch. So I used four little bundles of those solder, dropped them in that cup, heated them up. I've now put the wire in there. There's a little, into the little molten uh, cup of solder, making sure your plug is orientated the same as the other side. That is now set. I'll push, when that's cooled down, I'll push those into the back of that plug and that's how it connects. The Anderson plug is the same, male and female. There is no male and female. The connection in and out is the same. So the same plug gets used on this side and on that side. Here is the completed Anderson plug installed on the end of the cable. The alligator clips are gone as I don't use a bare battery in the camper trailer or on my battery boxes. There's an Anderson plug waiting here on the side of the lid. <clears throat> panels in the sun obviously you can just connect up this Anderson plug to the box there we see charge is coming up it was 12.9 13.0 13.5 13.5 so that's coming up one thing to note is this battery box obviously doesn't have an inbuilt regulator so I can use the regulator on the back of that panel. If your camper trailer or caravan already has a regulator installed <clears throat> you'll need to bypass the regulator which is on the back of that panel. So you're getting a full 17, 18 volts from the panel all the way to your, your existing regulator. As I say, this battery box doesn't have a regulator. This cable can plug directly in. So that's just one application where we needed to uh, get rid of the alligator clips.